into the wondrous world of run and gun video games. These are the games that take charge of the world non-stop shooting, no asking questions. If you come on my screen, I'm shooting. Buckle up and get your Rambo headband on as we jump into the top five run and gun games. Number five. Metal Slug. A game title that totally had me confused as a kid, Metal Slug is one of the defining run and gun games that took over the world. Heck, I'm sure you are spitting on your screen right now hearing me not make this game in the top three on this list. Listen, I always really enjoyed Metal Slug, but I would say my deep love for this game really started in the past couple of years since getting and building my own arcade. One of the best standouts about this game is the power-ups hands down. I'm always so stoked when I hear the video game announcer call out what weapon you just picked up, like rocket launcher, heavy machine gun, heavy machine gun. God, I love that guy. Also, I should also be mentioning that this is the only game my son truly really cares about when we go into our arcade to play video games. He enjoys other games as well, but Metal Slug just gets him all hyped. Also, who else put salt on slugs as a kid? God, we were mean. Horrible, just horrible. Jeez. <laughs> Number four. Blazing Chrome, my dudes. No, I am not talking about April 20th at a Chrome shop. Blazing Chrome is what I have been waiting for for a very long time. Okay, imagine Contra Hardcore in the Sega Genesis. You got that in your mind? Now blast it up five notches. This game is non-stop action, heavy music, amazing near-perfect sprites, and bosses to keep your fingers sweaty. When the game came out, yes, very recently, I noticed all of of my friends who are heavy into run and gun games like me all freaked out simultaneously. Simultaneously? How do you say that? I won't lie, I got a care package from the developers not too long ago before the game came out. I didn't know what this was and I was like, what the heck is this nonsense? But then I slapped in the USB stick they provided me. Holy cow, after seeing the game and playing it, I sharded 17 times in my diapies. Honestly, go download this game and wear a diaper. You're gonna crap yourself, son. Hmm, number three. on your cowboy boots and call me Jed Clampett. Sunset Riders is the best Western game in existence. Take that Red Dead. Hey, just kidding, that game is tight. Something is just so satisfying about this arcade classic. The intro, the bosses, the characters. Honestly, you either choose Carmano or you ain't cool. And the quotes in the game. Now, besides arcade, the game is available on the Genesis and the Super Nintendo, but to be honest, the SNES has all the sweet quotes in the game and the Jenny doesn't, so I recommend the SNES version. I really appreciate how much fun this game brings. You would think for a cowboy game it would play off a little more serious and a little more dull, but it really doesn't. The characters that you can choose from wear the brightest clothes ever, and everything including the sound effects, it comes off so vibrant. Also, Konami. I mean, Konami in the classic days of the arcade, so there's that. <laughs> Marry me with my money. All right, honestly, I'm struggling here. I'm having the worst time of my life right now, picking between the next two. Which one should be number one? Which one should be number two? Ooh, decision time. Number two. Mother Fudge and Molder. 
the Alien Wars have begun. Contra is pretty much the run and gun franchise. They are the staple in the genre. It was really hard to get myself to pick just one Contra game. Oh yeah, because I forgot to tell you guys there's this rule one game per franchise that I never mentioned, but whatever. But this Contra game is by far my most played, my most loved, my most iconic, and the one I spent the most time perfecting. I have this game on lockdown. The enemies here just feel so epic when they come at you, even the standard enemies. But if you want to talk about Gandalf level epic, just look at the end of stage bosses. They are all nightmare fuel, like legit really, really, really big and frightening. Just like my tab at a local game hunting swap meet. The Contra series will undoubtedly live on it as the king of the genre and honestly well deserves its title. is this number two? Oh no! You know the drill. Before we get to number one, we get to hear some of the honorable mentions. Broforce, Alien Hominid, and Gunstar Heroes. Number one! When debating between Contra 3 and this game, I legitimately, I am not wearing a shirt right now, went to grab a pencil on the floor and when I leaned over, I saw my Cuphead tattoo on my shoulder, locking in my answer. Cuphead absolutely blew me away. Like, no joke, jaw dropped for over five minutes blew me away. I still remember being at E3, doing some coverage of this game and thinking, heck yeah, this game is going to be awesome, but I had no clue how deeply beautiful and fantastic it truly would become. The art style speaks for itself. This game doing what it did was completely unheard of to me. I have been praising for years how much I absolutely adore cartoony graphics or Saturday morning cartoon looking games. And this did it and nailed it 110%. And to top it all off, the game handles great. And I have to admit, although the game was touted as being brutally difficult, I never really got that. I'm not really bragging. The game was difficult for sure to an extent, but it was just the amount of difficult that I wanted and felt perfect for me. And yes, I beat it on all difficulties without taking any damage at all. Now that's the day I decided to get it tattooed on my body. I feel like Cuphead was made specifically for me, like it was just everything I wanted. Thank you, Studio MDA HR for making this game. Also, I'm well aware that I'm gonna get crap in the comments for not putting Gunstar Heroes on this list. I know! 